Michael Keaton had just come off of doing his first movie, but this movie was the first one that he actually carried completely on his shoulders, and it catapulted him into immediate stardom because he was lovable, he was funny, an adorable guy. I remember it well, just charming, he was sweet, he never demeaned any of the kids, he was never snippy with us, he was always ready to work with us to make it funnier, he was always ready with a suggestion or ready to play. Watching him deliver the, the, the Whoopi speech was just spectacular. I have such clear memories of that and how beautiful that was and just figuring out figuring out the pacing in the moment of the fireplace sequence and he was very helpful and uh, just charming and fun. One of the things that is, was really kind of wonderful about working with an actor like Michael Keaton specifically is kind of how spontaneous he is. So truthfully, the, the thing that's going on in my brain the entire time is keep up because he's so magnetic and he's such a wonderful actor and he's so spontaneous and organic that whether it's on screen or off, the amount of energy that he has is contagious and really wonderful for a kid to be around. He had all of us laughing at all times. The last time I saw a comedic mind like that work over time was Mickey Rooney. You had to walk behind him with a, a pad because his mind was always going and he was always funny, always funny. Same thing with Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton could take an inanimate object and make it funny. Everything that he did about it, with it, you know, it, said about it, it, it was funny. He's a very talented guy. Taking advantage of some of the time off to uh, add a whole new wing on here. I'm gonna rip these walls out and, uh, of course, rewire it. Yeah, you're gonna make it all 220? Yeah, 220, 221, whatever it takes.